what's going on guys I just woke up um <laughs> uh, I'm doing kind of like a post um, going around just getting items um, I'm starting off at Traverse Town and um, going in the accessory shop um, getting the trinities and just getting different items that I missed um, right now this is kind of like a post recording in a way uh, I'm not recording and talking at the same time I'm kind of just looking at the gameplay so um, yeah so we're in Travis Town uh, we just used the green trinity and it led us to the room where synthesizing um, all of your items uh, that you get like shards and different crystals and whatnot uh, you can use them to synthesize um, different items that you will get in the game um, and this is also where you will get the ultimate weapon okay um, and you'll need different different rare items uh, you can get them you know from different monsters and you're gonna need to apply certain abilities uh, to get these items a little bit more often than usual okay um, and you'll start out with just different um, you know just six basic items here uh, the more you synthesize the more items they'll give you um, and you know once you once you synthesize it you can always go back and you know add more to your arsenal you know it's all good you know what I mean really really good here um, you know it's not really like anything too special but once you get to the later portion oh that sucks I didn't get that item but oh well once you get to the later portions um, it gets a little bit difficult um, because some of the items are just just very hard to get um, but of course you know the abilities will help you out in the long run yeah it should help you out in the long run. anyway so that's that for synthesizing there okay um, I just went back to the item shop here uh, just getting some items for Donald and Goofy okay uh, they have like I don't know kind of like stronger weapons once again money is useless in this game after this part you're, you're not gonna use money that that much um, I'm just kind of going through and just hey why not you know trying to get everything that I can um, you know I got a little Warhammer there and I think I got the Giga Fist for uh, Goofy because yeah right now we just need the strength so yeah you can go in the item shop um, you know if you have the money and just buy these extra weapons uh, you don't have to um, you know during the future there's gonna be um, Colosseum battles that will give you different weapons um, and they're a lot better a lot stronger um, and they have different attributes to them um, but I just recommend it for now, especially, you know, if you're just having trouble um, It'll give you that extra oomph that you need Because you always have to have that extra oomph So, I think it's a good way to just start it out Okay, following up right next to the accessory shop, we have, ta-da, Geppetto's house. Yep, that's right. Um, after Monstro, if you go straight back to Traverse Town, um, there will be like that empty space that's like right next to the accessory shop. Um, they ended up here, you know, Leon helped them out and gave them a house because Leon is rolling in bank, son. Rolling in bank. That's that's craziness. So, yeah, definitely check them out because uh, Geppetto he'll give you different blueprints, um, and you'll need these blueprints to um, you know change your gummy ship if you want to. Uh, you don't have to necessarily build you know your gummy ship from scratch. You can start off with a blueprint and then just work with that. Um, later in this video, I, I tend to do that, you know, um, and just, just keep talking to him. Like, anytime you come back to town, really, I'm pretty sure he has some type of blueprint. Oh, I almost hit him. 
I almost hit that fool. Okay, that's cool. But um, he will have some type of blueprint for you if you just keep talking to him. Um, I think he only had like two or three at the time. Yes. Okay. Um, that treasure chest in the corner contains the Keyblade, the Wishing Star. Uh, this Keyblade is pretty good. Uh, really, really good. At the end of each finishing blow, um, it has a critical attack. So it, it kind of makes up for the skill um, and the strength because it's kind of less than three wishes. But uh, And it also has a short reach, but it's still a good Keyblade um, just for this portion of the game. Uh, if you examine that part, the corner, um, the left corner of the room, you get a postcard. Um, and that's definitely something that I missed <laughs> in this game. So I'm definitely going to be touching up on postcards. I don't know what I was doing here. I just talked to Satan and I was just like, oh, okay, I have money. Once again, money's useless, but I'm just going to buy stuff because I have no use for this crap. So well, why is Sid so? Look at those eyes! Look at those eyes! Anyway, so um, turned in some Dalmatians. Turned in some Dalmatians, and yeah, I was bored. Like I, I like literally when I was doing this gameplay, like I was kind of like all over the place. So uh, bear with me on that one. So I don't know what you gave me. Oh, a Thunder G awesome cool okay so i believe at this part i was just kind of going around and getting all the missing postcards and um if you go back to the item shop uh, if you hit the fan for some reason it gives you a postcard and you have to target it um just to get it yeah it's kind of hard there um also there is a postcard that is on top of the accessory shop um i just kind of jumped on this box kind of climbed up here it took me a few tries because uh, I'm lame but it's okay um so I tap that BAM got the postcard okay before I told you to shock this thing um, but I never got the postcards for it so we're gonna go back and get that and that's gonna be at the gizmo shop yes okay and once you're at the gizmo shop after you shock that with thunder there should be three buttons up here um, one at the top over there, um, and there's like these little platforms that lift you up so it's not a big deal. Um, one pretty much near at the door and then the other one kind of um, um, across from the other side. There. Once you press those buttons, you know, and you deal with all these stupid enemies, or stupid guard whales, I hate them. Once you're done. Okay, you're gonna examine this clock, okay, and it says it's stuck, and it will give you two postcards. There you go. I don't know why, but examining clocks and fans will give you postcards, so it'll give you two there. Okay, um, the other one is back at the synthesizing shop, um, and it, just examine that um, little flyer on the wall. It'll give you a postcard. I, I, I don't question. Anyway. So we're sending all of these postcards in that I've had before. Um, if you missed any of the other postcards, um, just look back at previous parts. Once again, I don't know what I did. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, but there's 10 postcards in total. So definitely check those out for sure. And I'm jumping up with Glee. Yes, if I do something, I'm going to jump up with Glee. Why not, you know? You gotta jump up quickly. So, um, there was a Trinity I missed before. You can definitely get it uh, when you come back from Tarzan. Uh, but for some, for some odd reason, I just missed it. That's cool. No biggie. Um, right where you started, where you came in uh, from Traverse Town, you can just get it, open it up. It should be Dalmatians there. So, really, really cool stuff. I think that's it for just the town part, I believe. Okay, so we're at Merlin's, chilling. Merlin's just chilling in the same spot, drinking tea. Uh, we're probably gonna talk to the fairy godmother here um, to turn one of our magical stones 
Into a summon! That's right. Into a magical summon. Um, which one is this? Can't remember. Okay, it's Dapa. It's Dapa. Um, and probably in my next video, I'm gonna show summons. Uh, the ones that I have, because I... Mm, I don't use summons. I don't know if anybody else uses summons, but okay. Um, you talk to Merlin because of your magic. Um, I think if your magic is above a certain level, he'll give you a Keyblade, the Spellbinder. Um, you just have to upgrade your magic. I, w I would just talk to him after um, um, Monstro or whatnot, and you'll get it straight up. Um, but it adds 2 MP. Uh, to uh, your current magic and it also beefs up your magic um, attack so definitely it is a good one um, strength wise it is not um, you know as great as the other ones but um, definitely if you're in a critical situation I would recommend using this one um, plus it looks cool I don't know I just think it looked cool if you talk to Merlin I would say like a little bit later you have to do um, some synthesizing now you have to get all the, the fine arts uh, for each magic and he will give you um, the dream shield I'll talk about that later um, and I'll show you how to get that but we are Wonderland right now that's right Wonderland okay so right behind you when you start up same level BAM Trinity Got a little threesome action there. <laughs> anyway, Trinity falls from the the awkwardly placed chimney, and I think you get um elixir. Yeah. Okay. There's one that's also uh, under the fireplace here, so you can just get that. Boom! Straight up. Another uh, another stack up Trinity here. the thrill shard awesome yeah I was just just going everywhere um, try and level up you know um, and just just keep your level especially on expert um, because it gets a little cheap sometimes especially like when you get to um, how should I say it? hollow bastion oh god anyway as I said before the fine arts um, in order to get a fine art of a magic, you have to, um, how should I say it? You have to cast a certain magic three times in a row, okay? And in this case, I casted, um, thunder. So I got thunder arts, you know, pretty basic there. Cool. Um, so just keep doing this. Um, the different stances you can get, let's see here, in my encyclopedia, okay, if it shivers, you gotta shoot fire, um, if it fans itself hot, it's a blizzard, if that little light goes above their head, it's thunder, okay, if it's on the ground like it's about to do push-ups, it's just saying it's down or whatnot, you gotta use cure, okay. Um, if it spins in place, use Aerial. Uh, it's the, the windshield or whatnot. Um, if it stops moving completely, like com just completely stops, well, you cast Stop. Um, and if it floats off the ground, you're going to use Gravity. So keep that in mind um, when going through and seeing these mushrooms here. Um, and also for this flower, you can just shock it with Thunder. And then bam. Yay! Magical. Um, so definitely keep those in mind um, Once you get those seven arts Just report back to Merlin and uh, he'll definitely hook you up right now. I'm just going through the game I'm just you know, there's there's some weird things in this room that like you can definitely just miss straight up And like I didn't even catch all of them. You know, like if you turn that um, It just creates another passageway to um Queen's Castle, I believe, you know, I think, um, to that treasure chest, you know, it's, it's, it's just very weird stuff, I didn't go inside because there's no point, I got all the treasure chests there, but, 
yeah, there's weird stuff in this room. Um, you know, just check them out or whatnot. I believe there's some um, there's some treasure chests that I just could not get. Um, I don't know for what reason. I just forgot how to get them. Uh, maybe it's just later. I don't know. But I just forgot how to get them. Uh, and they're on the tea party. They're on top of the uh, the little grassy part. So maybe I'll go back and get them. Who knows? I'm just too lazy. But anyway, I, I went inside the picture. There's another flower for you, Shock. Um, and like some of these potions, if you give them like... Or some of the flowers. If you give them potions or whatnot, they'll give you... Um, better items um and better um uh, things this one offered me like hey give me an elixir i was like hell no but um i would do it i'm, I'm guessing it gives you like a mega elixir because like i just gave that flower potion he gave me a high potion so i would imagine he would give me something better you know so try it out i just didn't have the time or the patience um this here I think after um, after I did this fight, there was like a, a teddy bear. There's some things that I did, and in my mind, I thought I did it, but I didn't do it. If you hit that little uh, string there, the teddy bear falls in the seat, and the book becomes up. I believe you have to examine it when you're huge. Yeah. You have to examine it when you're huge. <laughs> yeah, we. <laughs> I won't get into depth with that one. Um, the, the clock I'm standing on. You also have to examine that, I believe, or like you have to do something. Um, there's a little thing that you can get um, after you examine that. So, I believe that's it for Wonderland. Yeah. If anybody knows how to get those treasure chests, get back at me, because I forgot. And I remember I was pro at this. Anyway, on to the next one. Nothing really big here. Um, Coliseum. Okay. The Coliseum, there's a green trinity to your left. That's right. There you go. Roll your butt right over. Okay. Green trinity to your left. Okay. I don't know why I paused the game. Something happened. I was just like, what the hell is that sound? You know, dog barking outside or something. This dog is constantly barking outside. I really don't know um, what the hell is going on. Seriously. Anyway, um, these things right here, the little fire things, if you pretty much, I think if you have Blizzara or Blizzard, um, you can just pretty much freeze them. Um, and if you freeze all of them, you get a specific item. Yeah, that's nice. Isn't that great? Get an item? Okay, so just kind of go through and just Blizzard all of them. Okay, um... Shouldn't take you too, too long. I just speed up the process a little bit. And then boom. Okay. You'll hear the magical Zelda sound. No, I'm just kidding. You won't hear Zelda. But uh, the treasure chest will appear to uh, the same side as the Trinity. And uh, I believe you get a gummy ship heart. Uh, fire good G. A heftier, uh, beefy shot. Okay. Um, you can go back to the full cup and enter with just Sora, and I do believe you get um, a prize, um, a certain item. I didn't capture the item, because I was stupid, um, but I'll get back to you. I think it's like, a, either it's a synthesizing item, or it's kind of like one of those um, AP ups, defense up type of items. Um, so definitely go back. You can go as Sora, and then you can also go back as a group. Um, and kind of um, beat the cup in a time limit. You can do this for all cups. You don't have to do it just for the full cup. Um, so anytime you beat a cup, it'll offer you to do these two options here. Okay. Um, and once again, it gets intense a little bit. Uh, I recommend that if you just beat a specific cup, I recommend you leveling up before going back and trying these certain options, especially the just soar part. Because, come on now, you're just Sora, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you get an AP up for that, I did record that, so, awesome. Okay, moving on to the next one. You're driving our happy asses to deep jungle. 
Um, there's a few things to do here, actually. Okay, in deep jungle. We've got a little nice plant transition. Okay. <laughs> in deep jungle, there is a plant slider game um, that, depending on your playstyle, will piss you off. Okay, and you pretty much have to collect all these fruits here. Uh, the first three fruits are just like right in front of you. Then you kind of have to curve to the right. Okay, boom. And then it goes back into the middle. And then the last one is like right after the third branch. Oh, and then you get hit by a branch. <laughs> right after the third branch in the middle on top of the hill. Okay, and after you're done, it'll direct you automatically to the right. But when you go back, you have to get 10 other fruit. So um, the path will open up to the left and you just continue on to that path. Uh, it's, it's pretty simple. Obviously, you know, if we do this next 10, another path will open up and we'll have to get the next 10 fruit. Um, some things I just recommend, just kind of go slow. I mean, for the most part, it's this is really easy. Uh, the only thing I, I would say that makes this hard is Tarzan has his ass all up in your face. And you kind of have to like, it, it, it's, it's, it's just hard to look and see where that fruit is coming from, um, you know, the first time. So kind of just, you know, go slow and whatnot. Um, this part right here will give you trouble sometimes because it'll just, it'll, I don't know, it'll just, it'll just be weird. I'll, I'll turn one way and it wants me to go the other way. So definitely follow that plat, uh, path. It'll get a, give you an auriculum or whatever it is. I think I'm saying it right. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Auriculum, auriculum, curriculum, whatever. Anyway, after that, you're gonna go to the left. Okay. You don't have to, you know, go all the way back and like, you know, go all the way back to the tunnel. You can press start and restart, and it, it should give you, you know, that time. Um, this one, this section's a little bit tricky. Starts off in the middle, then goes to the left. Um, and it goes back to the middle. It's kind of the similar um, as the first one. And then there's just one just chilling in the middle there. You get a mega elixir, which is good. Um, watch out for this part because it's kind of fast. I think it's the fastest one. Uh, so after that, you're going to go to the right after that path opens up. Into the fourth section. That is right. The fourth section, it's a little bit slower than this one. So um, you got time. It's just, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> out of the bunch okay uh, starts off just in the middle you get those four then there's one that just happens right after the branch once again very awkward I know okay um, and yeah just keep going keep going all the way um, you'll pass that little wide open spot after that branch curve all the way to the right because there's two that are just chilling there and then go right back in the middle the last four you get a defense up. Really cool. Really easy. So, after that, instead of going right, you're going to make a left. Okay. And this is going to be the last section. There's five sections to this thing. Um, and the last one is very, very tricky because, yes, it's a little bit fast and the placement of them is kind of close together. Um, for the most part, if you just stay in the middle, um, you can get all of these in a way. The last one is the hardest one right there. You kind of have to curve to the left after um, the ninth one, okay? Um, and it's very easy to miss. And when you miss it, it'll kind of piss you off because you have to start all over again. That's the only thing about this mini game. If you miss one, you have to start all over again. And when I mean all over, I mean all over. So don't miss one, please don't, okay? There are a few items here that I got. Um, yeah. You just jump from here. Look at this. I'm, I'm like failing right now. I can't even jump from this fucking... Come on, Sora. Stupid platforming elements piss me off. There we go. So you're just going to jump here. Um, if you feel like... You know, your jump is going to be off. You can actually swing the Keyblade and it'll give you some hover time. Um, so it's definitely good in that department. Okay. Um, let's see here. 
There's a Trinity here that we couldn't get before, and it's kind of blended in very nicely. I don't know if you can see it. Boom, right there. Um, just get it. I believe it just gives you like green um, HP balls and other things that you can work out. And um, yeah, I'm a Thrill Shard from the heavens, the glorious heavens of the green people. Yes, the green people. Um, just going to my stocks, really, and just applying everything I know, like the, the power-ups and defense-ups. I just kind of give that to Sora, because I think Sora's definitely going to need it um, for later. For the AP, I kind of just gave it to Goofy in the late run. So, um, yeah. Because Goofy had, like, um, MP gift, and it gives you uh, MP. After that, I did a little whole gummy ship thing. Not really anything like too big or whatnot, but like I just chose like one I chose one blueprint. Worked with it. Still called it the ass way. <laughs> I still can't believe I called it that. Anyway, um so I just worked with that. Uh, added, you know, some firepower to it. Um, I'm kinda just zooming into this part. You can do whatever you want. Um, one thing I recommend if you're really into customizing your gummy ship, which you know I am, <laughs> um, just kind of replace all the blocks with like um, the upgraded blocks. So they're kind of like purplish or whatnot. So you can increase the damage. Um, you can also add blocks if they're not there, you know, and that'll also increase, you know, your HP. Um, if you want, you can equip some lasers um, and it'll give you. Um, It'll give you like kind of like a lock on shot. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty cool. Once again, unnecessary. There's some things in this game that were just unnecessary. Not just in terms of the factor that you can do it. It was just unnecessary in the sense of what you can already do. And like, it made everything, yeah, bland. But anyway, um, I'm just going through. I'm just upgrading the ship just in case if stupid crap happens. Um, you know, I got a little, little faster there, overrided it, bam, saved it. It looks a little bit better. Well, kind of. Looks stronger, I should say. So, after you're done, just exit. Okay, the last place. Uh, that I had to take a visit on, of course, is Agrabah. Okay, uh, there's a few Trinities here that I passed. Um, one, obviously, straight up in the storage room. Right from the get-go. Um, of course, you're gonna do the ladder Trinity. And then... There you go. The power-up is inside the treasure. Yes. Okay, moving along in the streets. This is in the palace section. Um, where you fought the centipede uh, boss. You're just going to climb up here. Uh, now that we have high jump. Um, there should be some treasure chests up here. You're going to get this one. And it should be a protectora chain. Okay. Um, there should be another treasure chest. If you climb a little bit higher... Um, you're just going to jump on this uh, wooden uh, platform here and just keep going all the way up. Um, of course, these little pot spiders will, will get in the way, but it's okay though. You get an arrow god G for your gummy ship. This treasure chest I tried to get and failed miserably. Um, later, when we get a certain ability, we can get this treasure chest, but... Um, I thought we could have gotten it before, but it was a no. It was definitely a no. So, you're gonna have to wait for it. Sorry, guys. Fall to my death. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, this next section is in the beginning, right before the desert. Um, you can just jump on this platform here. Um, after you come from the, the alley, the top version of it, jump right on top of where the door is, and then of course just jump across. Um, I'm just looking around the area, checking it, because there's an enemy I think. Um, 
And there you go, more of the lovely enemies I just hate. Um, I ended up shooting the pot barrel that jumped up. That was pretty... Um, pot barrel. Why do I keep saying pot barrel? Pot spider! Um, but you get a cottage. Okay, so now we're in the Cave of Wonders. Okay. Um, I'm surprised that the treasure chests um, that I miss here. I mean, these are kind of like straight up. Maybe I just rushed through it and I was just like, whatever, I need to go. Because um, I kept falling off in the last part. But Oh well, we have an elixir in that one. Um, and I think we have a mithril something. Mithril shard? Yes, mithril shard. Um, I'm just going through here. This is in the next area. I believe it's the bottomless hall. Uh, there's a little platform off to the side here. Uh, you can just jump across after you have, um, of course, you know, the high jump. And bam, elixir. Straight to your face. So I decided to jump down from the platform. And right from the get go, if you just climb the stairs up to you, you have the Trinity there. Uh, if you got it before, good for you. I didn't, so therefore I'm gonna get it. Ha ha. Um, the treasure chest falls from the heavens. You don't know where it came from. It's okay, I guess it's safe. It's not a bomb or anything, but it's a Thunder G. So from there, we're gonna jump on top of here, go inside the hidden room. Oh, that sounds so nice. Uh, you don't need Aladdin to touch this. Uh, you can just touch it with your Keyblade, and it shines at you. Gives you the wink. Okay. We have two other treasure chests that pop up. You can just get it from the side by jumping off. Um, and I believe they are two gummy ship parts. Once again. Um, was it a Meteor G? Or a, either a Meteor G or a Thunder G, yeah. Something like that. I can't remember. Oh, I got on and right on the money. That's cool. Um, after you go up, right across, you can jump and do a little weapon attack to get the mithril. So that's it guys. Um, just kind of going through the map here. Thank you for watching this catching up part. I will have another catching up part of course for these other trinities like the one I'm walking over um, as well as other items from New World and Previous World. We're going to just start up straight at the Colosseum doing the Pegasus Cup and then we're going to go and pay Winnie the Pooh the visit. So thank you for watching. Until the next time, Z-Blaze out.